Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at the situation where a bar across the top of the screen in Illustrator is either missing entirely or it's not showing what you think it should be showing. So here I am in Illustrator. This is going to occur with recent versions of Illustrator. I'm using 2019 because it just records better here on the machine I'm using today. So when I select over this shape here, you'll see that these transform tools are showing here on the control bar. This is what it's called. It's called the control bar. Now, if it's missing, this is the issue. There's an option here in the window menu called control. And if you disable that, then you've got no control bar. So if your problem is simply that your control bar is missing, go to window and click on control. But the issue can also be that tools like this set of transform tools just simply aren't visible. Let me go back to a different workspace here. And when I click on this shape, you'll see that the transform tools aren't visible. There's a transform panel, but that's not the actual tools being handy and visible on the screen. Well, let's have a look and see what might be causing that. Let me just move my workspace out of the way a little bit and let me make it a bit wider. And you can see that as I make it wider, things start appearing on the control bar here. Now this is an impossible situation for working in, but it does give us an indication as to what might be going wrong. The thing is that there's just not enough room in this particular screen and perhaps there's not enough room on your screen for these tools to be visible. So the smaller the screen gets, the less of these tools are actually visible until the one that you want is not visible at all. So how do we get around this? Well, let me just put my screen back where it was. The way we get around it is this little icon up here because this little icon is going to tell us what we've got visible on the control bar. And if we can give up some of the things that are on the control bar right now, we can potentially get our transform tools back. So the thing that you need to do then is to work out what's here that you don't want. So there's something about editing similar shapes. There's something about selecting similar objects. There's something about isolating selected objects. There's also a line and shape, which I probably don't need either. So I'm going to click on this panel here. I'm going to turn off a line and you can see that the align options disappeared giving us a little bit more room. I'm also going to focus mode because that takes out one of these other options as well. I probably don't want my shape options because if I had transform I would essentially have the shape tools. So I'm going to take shapes out. I'm still not there yet. I'm going to disable select same and that's got rid of one of these here. The one that's left is editing shapes together so that's a global edit. I'm also going to remove object type because I think that's going to remove this option over here and it did. And here are my transform tools. So what I've done is I've paired back all the things that are visible on the control bar until what's left is what I actually want to use. Now you can save this as a workspace. I've done that already. So I've got one that's called Helen Tools on the right. Let me just go and get Helen Tools on the right and let me just reset it to what it was. So this is an older version of the toolbar and it doesn't have the transform tools visible. But if I go up here to transform tools showing, then I've got this sort of compacted control bar with things removed from it that I don't need to give me the transform tools that I do. So once you've set up a toolbar that looks the way you want it to do, you can go up here to your workspaces. Now you can also get to that by choosing window and then workspace and you can come down here to new workspace and you're just going to type in a workspace name and click OK and that's now selectable. So let's go back to the one that has everything missing. You can see everything's missing. When I go to click on this shape, the transform tools are not visible. But anytime I want to get back to the transform tools being visible, let's go to control bar with transform tools and here are my options. So that's what's going on behind the scenes when either your control bar disappears entirely or it's not showing what you think it should be showing. Of course, if you're able to change your screen resolution, then that might solve the problem because there may be enough room then on your Illustrator screen to show exactly what you want to see. 
Now before we finish up this video, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you'll get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at Udemy.com and there's a referral link for every one of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.